Hey guys, Jesse here. Welcome back to another, well, it's another tier maker list. This time it's actually on the different squads in the game. Now, this is not the different types of soldiers in the game. This is the different squads. Now, again, this is in my opinion, and it's basically, I'm going to rate these based on, you know, what they do, if they're really usable outside of other squads, like if the bonuses for the squads are usable outside of other squads. And really just how effective they are in combat, in my opinion. So, I'm of course going to put Don't Use, which I'm going to put for the um, the pilots. So, I'm just going to put them here. So, this is basically stuff I don't actually use. But the others, I've had good experience with all of these. So, I know how to use them. I know what they're good for. So, let's start with the bomber. Now... For the bomber, I'm actually going to put bombers on D tier. Now, the reason I'm putting bombers on D tier is because, really, you should have bombers in every squad, for example. I think the only time these aren't D tier is in Moscow, where they're probably around B or A. But in, you know, in Normandy, in Berlin, in probably Tunisia the same, it's probably the same as Moscow. But in Normandy and Berlin, which are the two campaigns I main, this is definite. Bomber squads are definitely not that good. Now... The reason being is that you can put bombers in essentially every squad. And, you, you know, it's not really worth it just having a designated bomber squad when you could have used, you know, most other squads. Now, again, I would say bombers, I think I put them as like the fifth, like the fifth best squad in the game. So, uh, the fifth best soldier in the game in my, um, in my, um, was it my soldiers video? So, yeah, they're not bad by any means. Bombers are really good, but against, you know, against, you know, against the other squads, they're just not that good. Gunners. I'm going to put gunner squads at A. I'm going to put gunner squads at A tier because they're, they're a bit of a pain to level up, but they are, and they are really effective, especially in defence. And especially when you can get them leveled up, you know, you can put bombers in them, you can put a radio operator, I believe, you can put, um, like, I usually have a bomber and two engineers, as well as a trooper, which, for the most part, you know, that's really powerful, especially when you can use um, weapons like the FG, like the M2 Carbine, the M1 Garand, yeah, the gunner squads are just really good. I think the only reason I don't put them above S is... They're more static, defensive-wise. Well, apart from the American ones, but... The American ones would probably be S, but the others are probably around A. Because, you know, for the most part, you know, gunners are quite static. They're, they're still really good, though. They're still incredibly effective. I, I really love using gunners, though. They are... Gunners are still my favourite class in the game. Although the gap between gunners and assaulters are definitely closing in. Um, Waters, easy one, just awful, awful, like, it's my, in my opinion, I think I put it as the worst class in the game, so there's no, re there's no, there's no, you know, no surprise why it's on D. Snipers, ooh. Like, with snipers, I'm going to put them on C. It really depends on what kind of rifle you're using, like, if you're going for... A pure sniper squad, you know, with bolt action snipers, you know, which is what the early squads are. Probably C and D, maybe even I would say D for those. But if you're going for, you know, FG42 spam or G43 spam, probably around B. So I'm going to put it as C as a healthy middle ground because you can use snipers in two ways. You can either use them as like a discount assault squad <laughs> if you use like the FG42 twos. Or the Gavir 43s take off the scopes. You can use them as like a discount rifle squad and the discount. Because that's the damning thing. They're just basically a discount rifle squad at that point. But, you know, they're still really effective. Really good, especially with some of the more powerful weapons in the game. So, it's why they get in the C. Now, for rifles, I'm going to put them in A. Now, the reason I'm putting them in A is because you can have nine. They're the only squad where you can have nine. Like, nine rifle, you know, nine soldiers. So, that is huge. Like, stacking a point with nine soldiers is going to make a huge difference. Even if they are all, like, even if eight of them are AI. 
and you can, and plus you can make some whole like some pure terror squads like I've got a squad which has a G43 Kurt, seven FG42s, and an MG34. Like, come on, do you, who wants to go against that? Like, no one wants to go against that. That is an you know it's an incredibly dickish squad to use in my opinion. It's one of the it's one of my favourites, so it's why it's getting eight here. For the tanker, mm, I'm gonna put the tanker probably. At, yeah, I'm gonna actually. Mm, yeah, it's because you have to include the tanks. The reason is, of course, the tanks are really powerful. So, yeah, yeah. the tank, you know, tankers in this game are probably borderline OP, but yeah. Like, some tanks, of course, being the Jumbo and the Panther, they're really powerful. The T-34, 85 is really good. Um, the Panzer IV is very underrated. The the M10 is okay. It's pretty good at taking out, of course, taking out tanks, obviously. That's the point. Like, so it's not the, you know, it's a really good tank, in my opinion. You know, I don't think they're S-tier, though. However, assaulters, I know are rest here. I love assaulters. Like, you can use them to attack, you can use them to defend, you can use them to storm a point, you can use them to snipe. They're basically, assaulters are the are just awesome. And yes, I have actually used assaulters to snipe. <laughs> people can actually, who've gone against me with my, like, I've generally made people get PTSD. Like, I wouldn't say PTSD, god no, but... I've given people literal like trauma because I've just been bombarding them with Tom with just Thompson spam and MP43 spam. If you saw my recent video, you will know how much I like the MP43. Anyways, with that means let's move on to uh, uh, engineers. I'm going to put engineers on B because while engineers are a you know are an S tier class. They're an S tier class, they're not an S tier squad. The squad is basically just more engineers. Like, and really, it's I think you can have a maximum of six, like six engineers in the squad. That's still pretty powerful. Don't get me wrong, but and but the problem is, you know the the custom, you know the buildings you give them, the MGs, they're great on defense. Don't get me wrong, they're great on maps of defense, like D Day, like. Labrie, like Omer, they're brilliant for maps like that. But when you're on the offensive, they're not really as good. Like, you know, some like, because I think they just take too long to build up. You have, you know, the action will shift too quickly. And yeah, the, and the big, the, the engineer's biggest, like, strength being the rally point is shared among all classes. So, you know, it doesn't matter what class, you will always be able to build rally points. Obviously, of course, you know, it still has, you know, it's still a squad of engineers. That's nothing to laugh about. But I think that they're just not as good as these four squads, but better than these squads. I think it's a good power up. Um, a good in between, you know, a good B, solid B rank, but again, not, not powerful, overpowered, not underpowered and useless, if you know what I mean. Flamethrowers. I'm going to put the flamethrowers at C, because I, I like flamethrowers, okay? I really like flamethrowers. They are a very, very good squad. Like, it's one of the more interesting squads in the game. You can, um, but yeah, setting people on fire. Very, very good. One of the you know, one of the best classes in the game. Just awesome. Like, I really like flamethrowers, but I think the problem is they're very, very, very niche use. Like, compared to these five squads, and even snipers, really, where you basically, you will use them regardless, basically. You will just use them no matter what the situation, most of the time. With flamethrowers, you can really only use them when you're attacking, like, a like a like a bunker or a building. There's a few maps like 
Berlin, well, basically all of Berlin, and maps like Oma, which are which engine which flame fires excel. But yeah, those maps are few and far between, unfortunately. Anyways, the final one, radio operator D. I don't like radio operators at all. So yeah, no surprise that they're coming in on D. They they have been made more useful because of the smoke artillery, but to my knowledge, smoke artillery is used is universal. Basically, it's the same reason for bombers. You can use them in pretty much every squad. Not really any reason to use them other than frequent artillery, which has been nerfed into the ground, obviously, because rightfully so, frequent artillery was dirty back in the back in um, the day before it got before the thank fuck nerf happened. Yeah, radio operator is a good okay, I guess, but yeah, the squad's not that good. Leave your thoughts in the comments over you know where you'd put other squads. Obviously, of course, I'm taking this from Normandy and Berlin, so. If it was outside of Berlin, say this was Moscow, I'd probably have bombers at B tier or something like that. But anyways, I hope you guys can enjoy the, have enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.